I thought I would show you what I'm doing today. Um, it's a Sunday after Thanksgiving, so I'm prepping a ton of cookie dough for the holiday cookies. My girls love to bake, and I thought I'd give them a head start by prepping tons of cookie dough and then freezing it. So however often they want to bake between now and Christmas, they can pull them out and start baking because we have a ton of cookies that were given out this year for gifts and stuff but I'll kind of show you what I got going right now so right now I'm just doing peanut butter plain peanut butter cookies this is a double batch I'm just creaming the butter and the sugar right now I've got my cooling racks ready and I just kind of got everything thrown up here on the counter um, got some more butter softening some chocolate chips I think these ones are confetti chips and unicorn chips, of course we gotta do those. The cookbooks I'm using are actually, she is actually a host on QVC. She's from Minnesota. Um, her, her family favorites book and more family favorites. Both these cookbooks have, you know, I'm from Minnesota, that's where I live. But they have a lot of recipes we grew up on and we're familiar with so as you can tell this page is well loved um, so this is what I use for my holiday baking um, I don't know if you can even find these anymore I know you can find them on eBay and maybe Amazon but really really good classic recipes in these show you now I'm making these butterscotch cookies so if you want to screenshot that you can see the recipe for that but these are really good um, I do not add the nuts right now I save I use that after they're unthawed and then I'll add the nuts in then and mix them in but yeah otherwise this is what we're doing next <music>
see I've got, this is one batch of the butterscotch cookies. It makes around 36 cookies. And then I made a double batch. This is all peanut butter. This will make about 72 cookies for all these. Um, so I will stick them in my fridge for a little bit to kind of firm them up. And then I will put each of these packages in their own Ziploc bag. That way it's double protection. I did wrap all these twice with saran wrap. So that's how I'm gonna kind of prepare for the holidays. Um, I am gonna make a couple other batches of cookies, but right now we got over 100 cookies right here, which is good. But for as much as we have to make, we still got chocolate chip and sugar cookies, gingerbread cookies, all kinds of stuff. And then I have to say, shout out, if you have not gotten um, these, I got this saran wrap at Costco three years ago and there's still a ton in there so if you go through saran wrap a lot these last forever but yeah so i'll be doing more videos on how we're prepping for the holidays and making things a little easier with as much chaos as we have going on